I hope you guys are fine. Uh, so this is the part four of our uh, beginner metro station tutorial series thing. So um, yeah. So in the last part we made this piece and the menu of the station. So in this part we're going to be creating this road. So uh, this is something uh, we're we going to be utilizing mirror modifier to a lot bigger of our potential. So please pay attention because uh, you can have you will have problems if you don't follow along properly. So please pay attention. Secondly, please subscribe our channel. And also uh, on my social media networks like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything has a link in below in the description below, so that you can you know easily uh, access them. So please subscribe to our channel and also uh, follow me on my social media. So now we're going to be creating a new collection called uh, uh, Road. Okay, then the collection and then hide the station. Okay, then shift A, mesh, Q, and S Z to Make it a little bit smaller. Then tap to go to edit mode and right click and subdivide it. Okay. So it's time to go to top view. Z wireframe A to deselect everything. C to just uh, in face select mode. Go click on face select mode and then click on C to select these faces. Just these three sides. Okay. And um, the appropriate sides as well. And then, then click on X and then delete the faces. Uh, it is also so, this is, so now we only have this uh, quarter square thing. Go back to solid mode now. Add the modifier, add the mirror modifier on the x and the y axis. Okay, so now it's back to a complete cube. And also turn on clipping. This is important because we want it, we don't want it to clip. So now turn the station back on up. Now uh, select the station and also the wrist shift select both of them and G Z to move them above. Bit. And then also select the cube and then Z wireframe because we need to see what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go to the top loop, select the uh, select the cube again and rename it to road. Tap to go to edit mode, A to select everything, then G and X to move it on this side. Make sure that it moves in a fair long distance, like um, we know that a bus or something is going to be standing there, so it should be wide enough for that. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top view again and then also G, Y to move it on this side over here. I think about over here it's maybe a little bit more. So now we have a little bit of basic road. Okay, so now the problem is that uh, these subdivisions are a little too much for my case. Like there are two faces, there shouldn't be two faces over here. There should be only one. So to move these faces, go into edge select mode, C, select these faces, and also C, select these faces, and then click on F, deselect everything. Then go into face select mode again, shift and select these two faces, and click F, X faces again to delete these faces, and then go back into a uh, virtual select mode and click on C. And select these spaces and then click on F to fill them again. Up. So now we're back to fill up. Okay. And um, yeah. So <coughs> now select the side face. Go uh, back to the select mode and select the side face. Extrude it. We we'll move it in the x axis and then G and Z to move it a little bit up above. Then E and Z. We move it like over here and then G and Z to move it above as well and then E and X to move it on the side because uh, we are going to be putting the lights, you know, the li these light poles over it and they need a place, place to stand. So this is uh, how the basic is supposed to look like. So now select, uh, um, okay. so now select these faces. Okay, this side face right here. And then uh, click on E and then uh, extrude them over here, over here, and then um, G and X to move them inwards. So now they're uh, creating this shape sort of thing, you know, similar road sort of effect. And then E and uh, you can see, and then E and Y to move them along the Y. So right now we're just moving this one part and all the other parts are just making certain of it because they are uh, they are all the same. So now the base load has been uh, completed. You can make it longer wired if you want to want it to actually depends upon you. 
So uh, now we're going to give it um, materials. So it's going to be needing two materials. Click on new and rename this to a uh, road base color or something and change it to black completely and then click this plus plus sign again and then it is like the base material again ok so these two are the colors that we are going to be using for the road for now these are again like I said before placeholders they are not the actual colors or textures we are going to be doing there and there those that are on all together so it would be easier so now click on that and then go to material preview so the road is completely you know like a uh, black and click on tab to go to edit mode select everything ok A to select all click on the base material click on assign ok and then deselect everything now click on these top faces these three faces maybe there are more for you but for me there are top four click on the road base material then click on assign this way not only this uh, part of the road is black ok so um yeah now move the road G is there to move it above over here so that the station can rest on it and now we are going to be uh, creating these uh, lower poles uh, spillers so yeah now um, hide the station because we don't need it keep the road because uh, for not hide the road as well that's we don't need it as well so shift 8 mesh Q okay and rename it to pillar 1 So I'm going to edit mode, select the upper face and then go G and drag to move it upwards. Scale it like this to make it wider and then E and Z to move it up again and then scale it wider as well to create this sort of uh, shape. So this is our pillar number one. So our, after our pillar number one has created, uh, click the station to make it appear again. Here we're going to side two and also uh, make it appear again. So the pillar actually needs to be um, as Z to make it a little bit more taller and also move it G, Y to move it on this side over here. Now we are going to be creating another pillar because this pillar is for this thin road but it is for the uh, thicker road. So we are going to be creating another pillar out of this one. So uh, shift T, G, Y to move it about here. Yeah that looks appropriate now. And now um, hide the station and hide the road. Want to go into side view and uh, tap to go into edit mode and click on Control R to divide it into two half and then to Z wireframe. Go into press select mode, B to box set and select the side faces and then X faces G D faces. Okay, so yeah. Now tap out to come out of edit mode and uh, we're going to give this uh, mirror modifier. So now it actually has two halves uh, while uh, it's extremely hard to the right place, that's why it's messing up. Okay, and now tab into uh, edit mode again. Click on this side space. So I think we, I'm just going to have to move it to the origin. It's really hard to edit everything. So for now just move it uh, on the Y into center. Now this way uh, editing will be a lot more easier. So tap into edit mode, select this space. And E to move it like this, G, Z, move it above, uh, about, I guess, over here is okay. Now, uh, maybe we'll reappear again. Should be almost as wide as the road, so G and X to move it about over here. Okay, so now our bigger pillar is also ready. Uh, maybe station reappear, the road is already there, and, uh, Move this uh, bigger pillar back again. I think about that position is good enough. So now select our first pillar, and we're going to uh, because we need multiple of them, and we don't want them to uh, we don't want to duplicate them and place them so many times because that would be just nice. So we're just going to add in an array modifier because we're not going to modify the shape or anything. Because uh, on the station, we have to modify the shape. That's why we have to check the it and do it manually. But over here, we want the exact same thing to be appearing multiple times. So that's why we're going to be using the array modifier. So uh, we want them to be moving on the y axis. Okay, so you can see it's the y axis. So on the, when you apply the uh, array modifier, these are the default settings. So change is the, uh, on the x1, 
change this to 0 on the y change this to uh, minus 3 because you want it to be at a distance if I had it to minus 1 it would be just right next to it and that's just you know pointless so change it to minus 3 because you want it a little bit of distance and if you want it uh, and the count change it to uh, for mine it's about 7 I guess 7 is working well so uh, I guess I'll change this to minus 3.1 or something and uh, for me 7 for you can be different depending on what you did so uh, on this one uh, the bigger pillar pillar number 2 let's call this that uh, naming is actually really important trust me trust me this is just really a basic scene but if it gets complicated you are going to have a lot of trouble with finding things so it's better to name everything so add an element for it as well um, on the x again 0 and on the y minus 3.1 as well and the count uh, I guess 11 is working well for this one so yeah and now select the first pillar again and then click on shift T e, G Y because the modifier was already applied it's moving pretty smoothly and now we have our uh, base pillars so the pillars also need a material and they are going to have the same material as the base because I don't know it just works well so um, yeah, go into the uh, view for now, and you can see everything actually looks pretty dark. So let's just add shift A, click on shift A, and light, and add the sun. Now sun showed up is a global illumination. Like for example, um, it was under, but I know what it doesn't uh, make sense. But basically, for it, it's existing everywhere, almost everywhere. So if I actually move it on the side, you can see that it's still the shadows are still not being changed. There are no shadows; it's still on top. But when I rotate it. The sun, like so, you can see now its shadows are being cast. So I'll just give it a little bit of yellow show of light and um, and we can move it in the station part. Uh, this again, uh, lighting and the materials are not finalized yet. We are going to be changing those later on. So uh, please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the tutorial series and um, also if you, uh, follow me on my social media links are in the description below. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like, tell a friend. Don't waste this time on the quarantine and learn something new. Please like the video over here. So, see you next time. Goodbye.